Spikes, it's game day. I'm Haley. I'm Cameron, and here's your news. If you are interested in joining the Superintendent Student Advisory Council, fill out the form on Schoology. Selections will be made on September 13th. Follow Spirit Club on Twitter and Instagram at Spirit Club SHS. They've expanded career opportunities for students to learn about. Let's go check the Arts, AV, and Communications pathway. My name is Luis DiLeonardo and I teach uh, broadcast journalism in the Arts, AV pathway. The pathways give students the opportunity to explore careers and they get to learn the skills like the actual professionals use and get to work with the equipment and so that would help prepare them for their future and so by getting that little insight in high school they might learn what they want to do and what they might not want to do. So in my class students get to do what professionals do in a broadcast setting. They make a daily news show, they also make a news magazine, they um, write the script, they create stories, they create commercials so they get hands-on experience of what the professionals do and that way they know if that's something they want to pursue for their future. I've taken 21st Century Journalism and Broadcast One. My freshman year I took 21st Century Journalism because when I was at the middle school I had talked to my typing teacher and, saw, and asked her like are there any classes in the high school that offer like video recording or like anything like that and then after 21st Century Journalism I found out that they do the school news and Broadcast One and I was really interested in doing that and working on it with them so I've done that the past three years. And they've taught me to go out and find stories and come up with my own ideas on what to film, commercials, PSAs. I've also learned how to use Final Cut, iMovie, and we're starting to use a new editing program that I'm going to get to learn how to use. A lot of students in my pathway can go into graphic design, broadcasting, film, um, sports uh, broadcasting, marketing, advertising. So it opens a lot of doors for them. And then a lot of careers now requiring you to be able to work with some video. And so this also gives them skills to work with video. I think that Pathways really help students to learn who they are and what they want to do and will hopefully provide them an opportunity to figure out what career really interests them for their future. They've expanded career opportunities for students to learn. Let's go check out the Arts AV and Communications Pathway. We'll be covering the rest of the pathways throughout the following months. Now, we're going to spike it over to Haley with sports. Living in Kansas, we are frequently threatened by heavy rains, large hail, tornadoes, floods, and even snowstorms. Be sure to listen to the SVTV Weather Report daily so you stay informed. And now for your SVTV five-day forecast, which shows the... Are you going to the track meet tonight? No, it's tomorrow. Since when? Wolf well, posted something on school about it being rescheduled. Why is everybody wearing blue? It's a blue out. Miss Anderson put it on school G. Didn't you see? All right, everyone, hand in your Romeo and Juliet paper. What paper? The homework last night on school G. Make sure to check school G to keep up on all things going on at Seaman. Thank you. You're welcome. How'd you know to turn that in? I checked school G. Thanks, Cameron. If you qualified for free or reduced meal program, stop by the athletic office for an athletic pass. The varsity golf team won third place competing in the Shawnee Heights Invitational yesterday. JV also placed third place yesterday in their first competition. Good job, all golfers. Blackout is the, team, is the theme for tonight's home game against Hayden. We caught up with some football players. Let's go take a look. Hey guys, it's Jordan. I'm here with team captains Jared Kerr and Kobe Jones, and I'm going to ask them a few questions about the game tonight. Um, what do you guys expect? <laughs> Um, I'm expecting a dub tonight. Um, I'm expecting I'm expecting it to be a pretty physical physical game, but um, I think we're going to try and dominate the line of scrimmage and just um, kind of run the ball down their throats. I'm pretty much expecting the same thing, but me as a quarterback, I want to throw the ball a little bit too. And what do you guys want to see from the student section? Um, I'm looking forward to seeing the rowdy rowdy bunch out there tonight. 
Um, I hope it's loud. Um, kind of get in Hayden's head a little bit, you know, make some good plays, and then uh, student section be loud, and then it'll get in their heads and stuff and make them feel bad. I want players to have trouble hearing my cadence. Uh, I want you guys to be loud. I got to see the Rowdy Bunch in the stands, though. I got to. I want it to be lit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, make sure you come support the bikes tonight. Now over to weather with Josh to see if it's going to clear up for the big game tonight. Vikes, you made it through the fourth week of school, and we had rain every day. Now, we didn't have nearly as much as I was originally anticipating, but we still had over a half inch on Wednesday, and it remains to be seen if we'll get to that inch I said we will get at least. We'll continue to track that over the next 24 hours. Now, this being said, there is still an extreme drought for most of Shawnee County. However, you look to the north and west, where they had five to 11 inches of rain earlier in the week, and the drought has been completely removed. So that's good news. Let's hope that transitions down here as well as we get through the next few weeks before winter starts to kick in later on. Now for the football game tonight, we are tracking a chance for rain. However, it's not a great chance. Only 40% probability of precipitation and temperature is gonna be in the middle to upper 60s. So it is going to be a comfortable game, but chilly and the chance of rain it will not be heavy rain and no lightning is expected, but just keep that in mind as you're heading out this evening. Out the door Monday morning, temperatures will be in the 50s and 60s, so it's going to be a completely different start to your day for the start of next week. And now for your SVTV seven day forecast, you can see that high temperatures swing down and then quickly back up, climbing all the way into the lower to middle 80s by the time we get to the middle of next week. Rain ends and the sunshine comes out as well. Now, back to your anchors. All right, Vikes, that's all we have for today. Make sure you come out, support, and wear your black. Have a good day and enjoy the pep assembly.